Namo Nama to everyone. Myself Rishabh Khantal welcomes you all on Basic with Khantal. Today's video is going to be very interesting because in today's video I am going to discuss one of the topic that I said in introductory video. So in today's video I am going to discuss Yes. That's the sound which nearly every one of us has heard in the morning when the morning pipeline of municipal corporation comes. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss that why that tap makes that sound before and after coming of water. So before understanding that, let's understand a simple basic concept of science. Take an empty glass of water and pour some water in it. Now throw that water away. So when that water is thrown away, then the empty glass is being filled with air. Now when we again fill water in that glass, so the air that was already present in that water, in that glass, so that glass, so that air goes out in the surrounding and it is being replaced by water. Now with this example, I will be going to, uh, I will going to explain how that uh, tap sound comes. So you must have seen that the pipeline of municipal corporation is very long in size and it is enclosed also. So when the pipeline supply, you know, when the water starts flowing, then the water flows at such a tremendous speed that it creates a suction and pressure, you know, hydraulic pressure. So the air, you know, in case of glass, the, you know, air has an escape route in the surrounding. But in the enclosed pipeline, it doesn't have, the air doesn't have any escape. So when the water starts flowing, so the taps which are already opened, so the air comes with a very high pressure. So that makes a sound. So when the water keeps on flowing, so all the taps that are being opened, they produce a sound. Now when the supply of water is turned off, so the pipeline is again filled with air. So all the taps that are opened from that, the uh, air sound comes. So that's the reason behind why the you know taps produce a sound before and after the supply of water. In case of pressure cooker also, the pressure inside the pressure cooker is so high that when the whistle of pressure cooker goes off, then it produces sound because the air is coming with a lot of pressure. So you, so you see, this is the you know basic principle that is that we seen in many things. So I want you to comment in uh, in the comment section that what all principles. Uh, based on this principle, you see the real life examples. So guys, the, that's all in today's video. Uh, if you like the video, then press the like button. Subscribe the channel so that you may get more and more interesting videos. And we will meet you in next video. Till then, happy learning only on Basic with Kantal.